Well, the building was built in the 1930s. Uh, the community of Beaverton got together and they passed the bond issue and they, and they wanted a school for their community. Um, it was a very big thing back then. As a matter of fact, I've read, read accounts where they had about 2,000 people here at the grand opening. People came from miles around. The school was designed to last 150 years. It's only halfway there now. It's a little more than 75 years old. And people in the Beaverton community, they call it the old high school, the old middle school, the old elementary school, because I guess at one time or another, it was just about everything. And it's in very good shape. Um, if you look around and you'll see the floors are in great shape. All of the elements, the windows, were replaced not too long ago. When Brian mentioned that uh, over 2,000 people showed up for the dedication of this building, that was, what, 77 or 78 years ago. We celebrated the 75th birthday of this building three years ago, and we had a good number of people turn out. You often hear the phrase, if these walls could speak, we heard the people of the community speaking and telling us the story of this building, and it was wonderful. When we first started this project, we had asked um, our various volunteers what type of classes they would like to see held in the building, and we got responses, cultural, educational, fitness. Um, so with that, we developed a program where we had classes for youth, preschool, intermediate, adults, anywhere from book club, car club, uh, scrapbooking, greeting cards, several yoga classes, tumbling. Uh, you can see we're in the tumbling room right now. It's the old library of the school. Um, very, very popular. Uh, probably the class that had uh, most participation. We were this last week able to share good news with our core volunteer group that we are going to be awarded some substantial grant money. Um, but in order to receive that grant money, we are going to have to, as a community, meet a challenge. On July 16th and 17th, we are going to have a wine and cheese social kickoff step up campaign event, which we at which we will be telling uh, everyone in attendance about this challenge and asking for people to participate. We are challenged to raise $200,000 in a very short time frame. So we would like to invite anyone who can come. It's, uh, you can choose to come either on the 16th or the 17th, same um, format each night, to hear about our project and to help us to meet our goals.